Um, does Jess know it's not Halloween yet? Hi guys! Uh, yeah, I know it's not Halloween yet, but trust me, this has something to do with this week's video. <laughs> I know I look silly, but I don't care. So, why do I have a mask on? Why is my hair wet? Why am I just looking like crap, basically, in this video? Well, the reason why I'm looking like crap <laughs> is because um, I want to talk the, about the importance of um, taking a break. Uh, I mean, we all have really, really busy lifestyles, and I know some of you are mothers or fathers, um, and it's hard to take that time to just be by yourself and be able to truly relax, because going to bed at the end of the night is not really relaxing when your full day is go, 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 go. And even your weekends, if you've had a weekend like mine, mine wasn't really a vacation, it was mostly on the go all the time, didn't get to sleep much, and now I'm just exhausted. So normally my weeks are normally jam-packed with stuff and if I have a free day, um, I'll hang out with my best friend or I'll hang out with another friend and do something. I rarely let myself have a day where I just come home and do nada or just concentrate on me. And um, today was pretty much a perfect day. I went to work early and I walked to work so it was like an hour walk. Um, and I just was listening to old Backstreet Boys songs. Yes, very embarrassing, but um, it was really good. Um, but I had time to just be by myself and think about things on my own. And um, I decided that after work, um, so I got to work early and I got a lot of work done. So productive today, which I love. I just love going home knowing that I had such a productive day. And I decided to walk home again. So... I walked home instead of taking the subway because the subway and the streetcars, it's so busy. You just I get anxious or nervous every time I'm on the subway because people are in such a rush all the time. So I listened to music on my way home and walked home and took the long way home. Stopped at the grocery store, um, got a lot of fruits and veggies and chicken, just different things to add to my fridge that was getting really empty. Um, things to have, well, basically having healthy foods on hand. Um, and then I got home and I decided to take a shower, put a facial mask on, and just get comfy in my couch, because I'm on my couch right now, and um, watching The Bachelor Pad, which is so bad, but so good. And I made myself a nice coffee, because I saw someone on TV drinking a nice coffee, and I was like, you know what? I feel like me having a nice, having a nice coffee. And... Tonight, I just did everything I wanted to do, and I stopped myself from contacting a friend to see if they wanted to hang out, and as much as I would love to hang out uh, with my friends, um, I really needed today. I needed today to just relax, not have anything on my plate, and just be, and I feel fantastic. I'm going to have to go and take that off soon because it's getting tight, uh, but I did also um, want to talk to you about something else. So... I want you to concentrate on you, and um, a book that I got recently, actually, I had, I went, I got it when I went on my half marathon in, my half marathon in Ottawa in May. Um, I got this book called The Nine Room of Happiness, and it's by uh, Lucy Danzinger and Catherine Berndoff. Um, that's the book. I haven't finished reading it yet, but I did get through it, and in me, it, it's part of the reason why I've made so many changes in my life. Um, if you've been watching me before, um, you know that I recently broke up my boyfriend of three years, um, and I moved out on my own, and um, huge changes. It, it was a tough decision for me to make, and I didn't really talk about it um, in length that much, and it totally doesn't have to do with this challenge, but um, this book is about, is about basically, you know, you always want to attain... Um, pure happiness in every sing single section of your life. And if you're not happy with your body weight, then um, you're happy in other things, but you always find something to nitpick on. If you got your weight down, then there's something else that's wrong in your life. Um, but this book, what I really liked about this part of the book that they talked about was um, about looking back and always trying to attain something you used to have. Um, for example, if you say, oh, I wish I looked like I did in 2002. Yeah, I loved my weight then. But then you think about it and you're like, but at that time, I still thought I should lose more weight. We're never happy where we're at. 
one good story that they have in there, um, and I hope I'm not boring you guys, I just think it's this is a fantastic book and everyone should read it. Um, but one part of this book was that this, um, this now mother um, always looked back to her childhood of going to the cottage with her mom and dad as the best time of her life. So she decided to do the same with her own kids. But because she thought about how perfect it was back then, she didn't have a good time with her kids at the at the moment. The kids were, were thinking, oh, can we go have some food? They couldn't enjoy the time being now. But what she failed to see is that she was a kid when she experienced that time. And when we look back on something, we always see the situation differently. So attaining to this perfection that we have in our mind is not something that we um, that we should do because we don't concentrate on the now and about the future. Um, so I'm, I really, I'm really glad that I talked about this because I'm, I'm really gonna have to continue reading this because it made me realize a lot of things in my life, um, that I was avoiding, um, certain areas in my life that I wasn't truly happy. And, um, this book really made me realize a lot of things and I, I'm the happiest I've been in a long time. So, um, so I, I urge you to go and um, maybe read an excerpt on it online or something. I'll put the link down below about it. So this week, I want you to concentrate on you. I don't want you to to say, I don't have time at all just to do anything. It, it doesn't have to be you going out of the house or you doing it, but just you go and take a bath. You know, be in the bathroom for longer. Um, relax, go read a book. Um, go get your nails done. Do the do the, your nails yourself. I love doing my own nails, and um, it's a time to just be. Make yourself a coffee. Bring a magazine. Go to the dinner table. Go on your bed and close the door and just read your favorite magazine and have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Um, just be. Um, do let me know how this week went. So this week I'm going to do a bit differently. I'm going to do in groups of four or three, three or four. Um, let me know what you like best in the comments below. I'll read them. So let me know if you'd rather have partners or if you'd have a, rather have a group. I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.